You are now listening to episode 14 of the Real Health Podcast with Dr. Taylor Crick. In this episode, Dr. Taylor covers his top five supplements for real health. Welcome to the Real Health Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Taylor Crick, bringing you the most cutting edge information available today for real health. And today we are coming at you again, talking about a popular, popular topic today. And that is the topic of supplementation. And if you joined us last time, if you heard the last episode, we talked about how so many people are taking supplements today. The research shows that it's over 50% of our population in the U.S. So the majority of people are taking supplements today. And so you, you have to be careful about looking at the quality and looking at what you're really getting. And, you know, another thing that I talked about is how so many people you know, we'll, we'll hear this on Dr. Oz or we'll hear this, you know, on my podcast or we'll read an article that pops up in their email or on their Facebook or about resveratrol or about turmeric or about ashwagandha or about black cohosh or about, you know, some random supplement. And it just ends up that we just accumulate these supplements in our closets. And, and I was cracking up because after recording the last episode, I went home and just coincidentally, purely coincident, my my wife had our like a, a Rubbermaid thing out of supplements, all these old supplements, and we had a ton. We had so many in there that I didn't realize we had, and a lot of them I still I still wanted. I pulled a lot of them out, and, and I'm going to start you know taking some of them you know more seriously again. Some are, are more specific ones that I had found that I needed through some customized supplementation, uh, blood and urine testing that I've done, and some are just some some good ones that I've recently ran out of that I hadn't stocked back up on that I just had sitting under my under my shelf. So I, I went through and I looked through the uh, expiration dates on a lot of them. That's an important thing to do with your supplements. A lot of them were expired. I threw a lot of them out. But we had a ton. We had a, an overwhelming amount. And you know that's me. I'm the one that's teaching about this. That's how most people are. I know for my mom, when she did her customized nutrition testing and customized supplementation testing through our Maximized Metabolics program, you know, we actually got her off of more supplements than we started her on. And I had a patient recently come in with her list of all her supplements. And I said, here, let me make this really easy on you. And I drew a big red X over about 10 of them. And I circled about three of them and said, keep taking these stop taking these. And that's so common. And she said to me too, she said, that was such a relief when you did that, because it gets a little bit overwhelming how many supplements people are taking these days. And you know, last time we talked a little bit about the quality of your supplements, make sure that you're getting a good quality supplement so that you're not wasting your money. You're not, you know, just not absorbing, not assimilating, you know, a supplement that's not bioavailable to your body. Make sure that you're not wasting your money. But then the other thing is, is, you know, narrow down how many supplements you're taking. We don't need to be taking this for that and that for this. And, and, you know, so many millions of things when, when we can get these, we can get everything we need from a balanced, whole food, clean diet, along with some basic, basic supplements. So that's exactly what I'm going to cover today are the top five supplements. Dr. Taylor's top five supplements for real health. Okay. So that's the title of today's episode. And if you're joining us for the first time, you know, you can go back through the archives, listen to some past episodes. Some of the things we're going to be talking about today, you know, we'll, we'll uh, bounce back to, to past episodes and talk about those a little bit. Um, but you can also find us, you know, on Facebook as, uh, as Real Health with Dr. Taylor. You can also find my clinic through Facebook. It's Align Utah. It's also Align Utah on Instagram. You can find the podcast if you're listening to it on iTunes. You can also catch it at www.realhealthwithdrtaylor.com. Um, or if you're listening to it on the website, you can also go to iTunes and, you know, please, uh, you know, subscribe to that podcast, leave a review, leave a comment, if you will, that would be awesome. But also, you know, get engaged with our clinic, get engaged with our newsletters, get engaged with some of the other content that we're putting out so that you can stay up to beat with what is happening with real health, not just through the real health podcast. But today we're going to go into Dr. Taylor's top five supplements for real health. And, you know, I I read last time a uh, consumer lab survey of vitamin and supplement users that pulled more than 10,000 participants, and it showed that the most popular supplements are fish oil, 
followed by multivitamins, CoQ10, vitamin D, B vitamins, magnesium, calcium, probiotics, and vitamin C. So those are the most common, you know, some names that we're probably pretty familiar with, if not, you know, already taking. But I'm going to go through the top five. And really, you know, the first three, I think, are are pretty much non-negotiable. I think that every single person should be on the first three to some degree. Number four and number five are kind of filling in holes where there might be, you know, some blank spaces with your diet um, or with some, uh, you know, some things that, that you just may need. So the first one that I want to go into is vitamin D, and that's vitamin D3 in particular. And that's important just at the beginning to to notate the difference there. Vitamin D2 is oftentimes the form of vitamin D that is prescribed by physicians, by doctors. That is a harmful form of vitamin D. It is not nearly as beneficial. It's not even beneficial. It literally increases your harm done to your body, whereas the beneficial form, vitamin D3, actually decreases the harm done to your body, actually makes you healthier. So that is something that that is uh, you have to understand right away. First off, vitamin D3, that is the most common that you'll see um, in a supplement store, but you have to look out and make sure that you're getting D3. And, you know, today there's overwhelming evidence that vitamin D is just, you know, a key player in your overall health. And, you know, vitamin D, it's called a vitamin, but it's really not a vitamin. It's actually a neuroregulatory hormone. It's a steroidal hormone, and it influences almost 3,000 different genes in your body. It's been shown to influence almost 3,000 different genes and play a role in the uh, upregulation of those genes. Receptors that respond to this vitamin or to this hormone, they're found in literally almost every type of human cell. From your brain, it's really important for brain health, uh, to your bones, really important for bone strength too. So, you know, just an example of an important gene that vitamin D upregulates is it actually has a big impact on your ability to fight infections. Okay, so vitamin D can actually help your body fight infections. It actually can also help fight chronic inflammation, which is at the root of most of our most common disease processes today is chronic inflammation. And vitamin D can actually aid those things by regulating the genes that control those. It could produce over 200 antimicrobial microbial peptides. Okay, so antimicrobial, just like, you know, a antimicrobial soap or or rag or something that we might use. Uh, Vitamin D produces over 200 different antimicrobial peptides. One of those is a naturally occurring, or many of those actually are naturally occurring broad spectrum antibiotics. So this is one of the, you know, explanations for why vitamin D is really beneficial for fighting against colds or flus is it upregulates your immune system. It's an immediate boost to your immune system. So optimizing your vitamin D levels should be at the top of the list for for virtually anybody. And the reason that this is my number 1 is because not only because it, it plays a role in so many health processes and so many diseases and so many conditions, but also when they test the average American, we are very, very, very deficient in our vitamin D level. So it's crazy how they keep raising the levels that we need to be at, but we're still, people are incredibly deficient. So especially, you know, if you live in a place where, you know, right now it's summer, uh, my vitamin D levels are probably, you know, relatively high and, you know, I supplement as well, but most people's are, are higher than they are in the winter. But especially if you live in a place, you know, like Utah, where we have a cold winter, we spend a lot of time indoors or wrapped up in clothes, uh, your vitamin D levels are going to be lower. So you want to make sure that you're not deficient because vitamin D D deficiency has been linked to a ton of different common chronic diseases. So I'm going to go through, you know, just a few. Uh, One, cancer, uh, breast cancer. So vitamin D has actually been shown to help reduce the risk of breast cancer. Been linked to autism, vitamin D deficiency. Been linked to diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Colds and flu and, and, you know, uh, immune system things. Eczema and psoriasis, skin conditions. Osteoporosis, vitamin D is really critical for bone health. Asthma, depression, hypertension, obesity, multiple sclerosis, vitamin D deficiencies linked to multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, 
cavities, macular degeneration, cystic fibrosis, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, Crohn's disease, dementia, hearing loss, infertility, migraines, all these things have been linked to decreased levels of vitamin D. So you have to get your vitamin D levels optimized. The best way to do that is through supplementation. You can do it through exposure to the sun, but the best way, the quickest way to do it is actually through supplementation. So how much should you take? You know, there's not actually a, a magic number as far as how much you should take. You know, it appears that the most adults need about 8,000 IUs a day in order to raise their serum levels, their serum levels, so that's where they measure it in the blood, above 40 nanograms per milliliter. So if you've had this tested, this, these are important numbers. So 40 nanograms per milliliter, that's kind of like the uh, the minimum standards. You know, you, you have to be above 40, I would say. Uh, that was believed, you know, that used to be believed to be the, the healthiest range, you know, between 40 to 60. Uh, since then, it's been raised to 50 to 70. So now if you're between 50 and 70, you're really ideal. But if you're wanting to treat heart disease, you're wanting to treat cancer, you're wanting to treat MS or one of the diseases that I just named, you need to be as high as 70 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. So a lot of people you know, have had this test and their, their doctor said, well, you're fine. And I say, okay, well, where were you? And they say, well, I was at 25 or I was at 30. And that's just not cutting it. You know, that gets you above the level where you're going to ever risk developing rickets, uh, but it doesn't get you up into the levels where you're actually fighting cancer, fighting inflammation, and fighting chronic disease. So I, I have one in front of me here that I'm just looking at, you know, vitamin D3. This is our maximized living vitamin D3 plus probiotics. You can, you can access this on our website uh, from our clinic, www.alignfamilychiropractic.com. There's a store on there where you can actually buy these, but this has 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3. Another thing that it has is 10 billion CFUs of powerful probiotics, which we're going to talk about in a minute here. But probiotics help aid the digestion and the absorption of this vitamin D. So this is 5,000 IUs. That's pretty standard uh, dosage. But you know, for a lot of people, you might want to start off with your first bottle taking 10,000 to boost your numbers up, and then 5,000 is more of a maintenance number. You know, right now throughout the summer, I take 5,000 as a maintenance number, but during the winter, I'm taking at least 10,000 IUs daily of vitamin D to keep my vitamin D numbers up. Okay, so that is number one. That is vitamin D. That is incredibly, incredibly important. And you've probably heard about this on Dr. Oz. You've probably seen about this and learned how important vitamin D is becoming. But if you haven't, you know, do some research, look it up, but otherwise go out and get yourself a vitamin D if you don't have one and make sure it is a high quality and make sure that is vitamin D3, cholecalciferol. That is the kind that your body actually knows how to use. Okay. Vitamin D3. The next one is going to be fish oils, or I, I'm going to change that. You know, fish oils is, is where, you know, what's going to be found for the majority of the products, but I'm going to change that to say, you know, an omega fatty acid supplement. And the reason that I'm changing that from just saying fish oil to an omega fatty acid supplement is because, you know, fish oil is just one type of, or typically two types of omega fatty acids, EPA and DHA, okay? So those are omega-3s, but there are other types of omega-3s. You know, ALA is, a, is an omega-3 that comes from, uh, that comes from uh, d -d 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 like flax seeds, plant-based. It's a plant-based omega-3. But so a fish oil or an omega supplement, you can get a broad spectrum, a more broad spectrum omega supplement that's not just fish oils, but has some other beneficial anti-inflammatory oils to them. But that is the number one thing when it comes to essential omega-3 fatty acids is that they help fight inflammation. So we mentioned that with vitamin D, inflammation, inflammation, inflammation. If you can keep inflammation at bay, you're going to keep disease at bay. 
Fish oils support your body's ability to prevent chronic diseases and prevent or support your body's ability to prevent inflammation. They also help promote stronger immune system, great for heart health, great for joint health, great for vision, help strengthen your skin, your hair, your nails. They enhance nutrient absorption. So your cells all have fatty acids that make up the walls of your cells. So basically the the barrier that lets the good in and keeps the bad out is made of good, healthy fatty acids. So that's why fatty acids are so important for nutrient absorption, really important for metabolic function and even, you know, attention, mood, memory skills. You know, fish oil is is really good stuff. And, And, you know, if you haven't heard that lately, then you you might be living kind of in a cave because that is one that, you know, you're going to hear from everywhere. You know, you're going to hear that from your medical doctor. You're going to hear that from uh, New York Times. You're going to hear that from USA Today. You're going to hear that from almost anybody. There's really no controversy surrounding these fish oils, but you still have to look for really, really good sources. Okay. So one of those is, is DHA and, and uh, EPA. Those are the ones that you want to look for. Those are the omega threes that come from that come from the you know wild caught fish and things like that, or Pacific fish. But I've got a couple here that I'll show you as an example and walk through here. So here's one called omega three fish oil. This is nothing but omega three fish oil. It's twelve hundred milligrams of omega three fish oil. So what it has in it is really nothing other than EPA. DHA and some other omega-3 fish oils. It says it comes from, you know, anchovies, mackerels, and sardines. So first off, that is a good source. That that is a really good source. And these are purified to eliminate mercury, but that's one of the concerns is that these fish, you're getting it from like codfish or shark. Shark liver oil is absolutely horrible form of fish oil because sharks are predators. They have very high concentration of not only mercury, but also PCBs. So you want to be very, very careful of your sourcing when it comes to these fish oils. Okay, but that's what you want to look for is that this has 2,400 milligrams of fish oil, and that's a combination of EPA and DHA. That's a pretty basic fish oil supplement has those two omega-3s. The reason that I wanted to be specific in saying fish oil or an omega supplement is because the best supplement that I've found is the one that we sell in our office and on our website, and it's called Optimal Omega. The reason it's called that is because it's an optimal ratio of essential fatty acids. It's not just uh, EPA and DHA. It's actually got ALA, EPA, DHA, GLA, which is an omega-6. So it's got a ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s, and it has the proper the proper ratio that you want to see there. And so what this has in it is organic flaxseed oil, which is ALA. Now, ALA, you know, if you're a vegetarian and you're getting your, your omega-3s just from flaxseed oil, you actually have to take a lot of it. That's why fish oils are a really, really good supplement to be on because the plant-based ones that come from flax oils actually have to be converted in the body and you lose some of that. So if you eat, you know, a gram of ALA and you eat a gram of EPA or DHA, that's not the same thing because you're going to lose some from getting it from the flaxseed. So you want to be careful there. Another one in here is borage oil. Uh, There's a couple potent anti-inflammatories in here. There's also 10 I use of vitamin E for antioxidant support. So when I say that that, you know, a fish oil or uh, a krill oil or something is the number two most recommended supplement of my top five supplements for real health. What I'm really, what I'm really looking at here and what I really suggest is something like an optimal omega that really gives you a broader spectrum omega supplement to help fight that inflammation, to help keep the heart healthy, but you know, more, uh, more contains a little bit more benefit than just an EPA or a DHA. It does contain those two, which are really, really necessary for brain health. You know, that's one of the things that right away when my babies were born, uh, they were on an EPA and DHA fish oil supplement right away, necessary for brain development, but also has some other anti-inflammatory oils in here. Really, really good full spectrum supplement there. Everybody needs to be on a fish oil or an omega supplement. 
the next one, so number one was vitamin D3. Number two was fish oil or an omega supplement, an optimal omega supplement. Once again, you know, you can find that on our website, www.alignfamilychiropractic.com. Uh, you can also go to maximizeliving.com and read a little bit more about the optimal omega supplement. But that was number two. Number three is going to be a probiotic. So if you've never heard of taking a probiotic, first off, you can go back into our archives, listen to our gut health workshop that we hosted. That's a live recording of our gut health workshop. Really covers everything when it comes to your gut health, but that is really, really important today. So that's why, number one, vitamin D3, number two, fish out oil or omega-3 supplement, um, or three, a probiotic supplement. Why those three are number one and number two and number three is because 90% of the population needs them 90% of the time. You know, those three are really broad spectrum and really covering a lot of bases when it comes to your overall health. Most people need to be taking a probiotic supplement for their gut health couple things that you can look for when you're shopping for a probiotic supplement. One of the things, the first thing to look for is that you want to look for the strength or the potency. And that's measured in what's called CFUs or colony forming units. Okay, so you may remember when we were talking about vitamin D, I was mentioning that the maximized living vitamin D has 10 billion CFUs of probiotics. And, and now that's good. That's really good. That helps aid in the absorption and the assimilation of that vitamin D3. But that's not a good enough dosage for a supplemental dosage. What you want to look for is you want it to be above 50 billion CFUs. So that's my minimum standards, 50 billion CFUs. The one that I take, though, has more like 85 billion CFUs that have been measured in it. Okay, so that's important that it's above 50 billion CFUs to make sure that it's nice and strong. Uh, I have two in front of me. One is a capsule that I've, that I've taken in the past, and it has 85 billion live cultures in it in each serving. The other one that I have in front of me has over 100 billion probiotic CFUs per serving. Okay, so one has 85, one has 100. But I want to talk about these two for you because the second thing that you want to look at is you want to look at how many strains are represented. That means how many different types of bacteria are in the probiotic or in the supplement that you're taking. So the one that I mentioned is from Garden of Life. It's a raw probiotic for men, and it has 85 billion CFUs and 31 probiotic strains. So that is quite a bit. You know, over 30 strains is a lot. That is a good variety of strains. And so everybody has different needs when it comes to their probiotic needs and it comes to their gut health and their gut flora. So 31 different strains really covers all your bases. So you, you want to look that there's plenty of strains in there. Above 10 is my minimum standards, okay? Above 10 is my minimum standards, I, I would say. Now, this one, this other one that I have in my hand is called Inner Eco, okay? Inner Eco is a fresh coconut water probiotic. The reason that I like both of these products is because I know both of the, the founders of the companies. You know, Jordan Rubin founded Garden of Life, uh, really integral part of Maximize Living's uh, supplements, you know, in the past. And somebody that I really trust and a company that I really trust as far as their quality. The other one, Inner Eco, I've met the owners of this company and they, they literally showed me the lab testing when they had this tested. And this says over 100 billion probiotic CFUs per serving, but they showed it to be even significantly higher in their own independent lab trials. Okay, so this one only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different strains in it. But still, this is a really, really good uh, supplemental uh, liquid probiotic drink. One of the things that we recommend this for, this is Inner Eco. This is a tropical flavor that I have in my hands. But we recommend it for parents because it's great for kids. Gut health is really, really important for kids. But make sure that everybody in your family is getting on a probiotic Make sure that everybody in your family is getting on a fish oil, krill oil, omega oil supplement, and make sure that everybody in your family is getting on a vitamin D3. Number four and number five that I want to cover 
are some that I think uh, many, many people need to be on, but I don't necessarily think think everybody. And you know, make sure you go back to the last episode and listen to some details about the basics of supplements because the next one, number four, is going to be a multivitamin. And the biggest thing that I want to say with a multivitamin, there is a lot of controversy. If you Google multivitamins and you just start reading articles, you, you know, you might think that they're going to do more harm than good. And you you might not be far from off, and that's because there are so many out there and they're sourced from horrible sources. You know, when you look at this multivitamin, like I have one in front of me here, it's got vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, ni- niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12. Each one of those, you have to think that each one of those, they probably sourced it from a different source and they're probably getting it from the lowest bidder. And a lot of these supplements and just the ingredients in there, you know, they're getting it from China, they're tainted with heavy metals, and we're just not getting what's advertised on the outside of the bottle. So that's what we talked about in the last episode. Go back into the archives, learn why the Maximize Living men and women's multivitamins are some of the best, and learn what you should look for. The number one thing that you should look for is that it's a whole food dietary supplement. And the other thing I'd say to look for is that it's just, you know, from a company that is reputable and that is trustworthy. Because if you're getting uh, your multi from somebody that, that you know, cares about quality, that quality you know, has, has certain levels of uh, standards of excellence you know, in their quality control, then you're going to be getting some benefit from it. But if you're getting it from somebody that just wants to sell the most amount possible, get them from the cheapest bidder and get the most highest profit margins possible, say maybe you know, not to use any names, but uh, Centrum Silver or Centrum A to Z or, you know, with some of the bigger brands like that, be very, 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 very careful when it comes to a multivitamin. But that is number four that many, many people need. But there is a caveat there that just makes sure that, uh, that you're careful with your multivitamin. The last one is one that is very beneficial for almost everybody, but especially if you're just not getting it in your diet. You know, supplement always means that it supplements what you're getting from a good, clean, whole foods-based diet. The last one is taking something like a greens powder. And I think that this is really good for for almost everybody uh, that's not getting a lot of greens. And, and that's almost everybody, right? Um, so I don't personally take a greens powder every single day. I eat a lot of greens. I juice a lot of greens. I, I don't think that that's a big concern for me. But, you know, a greens powder is, or, or getting enough greens is a huge concern for a lot of people. How about families? Like, how many of you feel like your kids, when they're at school or they're at a friend's house or they're at grandma and grandpa's, how many of them do you really think are getting their, not only their daily recommended allowance of fruits and vegetables, but how many of them do you think are going above and beyond that? And so a greens drink or a green superfood supplement is something that you can take that supplements this, that actually has those greens in the powder, okay? So the greens can be broken down into three categories of what they usually come from. Number one is grasses. So that's like barley grass, wheat grass, alfalfa grass. Uh, Number two are the sea vegetables and algae. Really, really potent, uh, high in chlorophyll, really good detoxifiers. These are things like chlorella, like spirulina, like dolce. Um, And then the third category is green vegetables. That's things like spinach, broccoli, uh, even carrots, even though they're not necessarily green. But that's where they're going to source these from. So what they can do, what a a greens drink can do is it's going to give you basically a concentrated dosage of the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that you get from all these good whole green vegetables, but you get it in like a, a scoop of powder. You know, that scoop of powder you mix with water, you put it in a smoothie, and you're getting it. So like Maximize Livings, for example, the one that we sell that I have in front of me, it has 34 raw, organic, living superfoods in it that have been blended to make this greens powder. Okay. So you don't have to juice. You don't have to, you know, grow these plants by any means. You just put the scoop in and it's a great way, an easy way to get your green veggies every single day. Uh, These actually come from juice powders, which makes it uh, more expensive. You know, you can get it from either the whole food, um, 
base greens powder, or you can get it extracted from juice powders, which means that they've they've actually juiced the fruits and or juiced the vegetables and grasses, then they freeze dry them. So these are actually extracted from juice powders. But you want to be really careful when you're looking for your greens drink, okay? Because the 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 same people that tested the uh, ten thousand people that take vitamins and supplements consumer lab, they tested these greens drinks, and the results are really shocking. I was actually really really appalled by this. Nearly one third of powder supplements that are marketed as greens drinks or whole foods drinks don't live up to their dietary claim, claims, and may even be contaminated with lead, arsenic or harmful bacteria. Okay, so that was heartbreaking to me. And, you know, it went on further to say that one of the supplements called Vibrant Health's Green Vibrance. Okay, so that's a greens product. It's a white plastic uh, container, and it has a green lid on it. And the reason that this, I'm, I'm kind of ticked about it, this is literally in my freezer right now. Uh, green Vibrance. It's got a good dosage of probiotics in the greens powder. It's sitting in there. I, I should check the expiration date because I've had it for a long time. But um, but what they found is that this Green Vibrance product contained roughly 25 micrograms of arsenic per serving, which far, far, far exceeds the safety limit established by the Environmental Protection Agency. So arsenic is carcinogenic, means it causes cancer. And this is found in the greens drink. Uh, I was really, really shocked with that. You know, another one, they tested a brand called Ultimate Life's Ultimate Meal. Uh, And it it contained more than double the allowable amount of aerobic bacteria, which can cause inflammation and infections. Okay, so greens and whole food powders can really provide a range of vitamins and natural antioxidants, but you have to be really, really careful with them. If you're getting the right ones, what they're going to do is help facilitate healthy detoxification. They're going to alkalize your body. They're going to boost your energy. They're going to support your healthy immune function, and they're going to support your healthy digestive function. But just like everything else, it's really, really important that you get the right quality that you get the right quality, that they're not contaminated with heavy metals, that you're not getting something that you can't absorb and digest, and that you're not getting a product, worst of all, that just plain and simple doesn't have in it what the label says that it has. So you got to find a good brand. Maximize Living Supplements, you know, I'm so happy that we sell a product like this in our office that we just don't have to worry about the quality. That is the number one thing. They're not the cheapest supplements on the market. Uh, Nobody would argue that. But they are incredibly, incredibly careful about their quality. So if quality is something that you want, you want to learn more about our supplements, go to our clinic's website, www.alignfamilychiropractic.com. Click on the store and you can look through some of the supplements. There's the nutrition facts. There's the supplement facts. There's all the fact sheets and the data sheets on there for the supplements that you need to be taking. But once again, Dr. Taylor's top five supplements for real health. Number one, vitamin D3. Number two, a fish oil or an omega essential fatty acid supplement. Omega-3, omega-6, omega-9. Omega-3 being by far the most important, by far. Uh, Number three, a probiotic, a broad spectrum, high dosage probiotic, over 50 billion CFUs, Over 10 strains is what I prefer. Number four, a good quality whole food-based multivitamin, whole food-based essential. If it's not whole food-based, I would not even bother putting it in your body. Number five is a good quality greens powder. So like I said, our greens powder has 34 raw organic living superfoods in it, and they've actually tested the potency and compared it to others and found that it's incredibly more potent as far as its chlorophyll content and some other uh, things that can help with detoxing. So go to our website, www.alignfamilychiropractic.com or go to www.maximizedliving.com. Go to the store, start looking at these supplements, start reading some more. And if you're not on any of those first three, make sure you go out and you get on one today. And then look at the last two, see if that's something that you think that you need, especially the greens powder. Great for your family, great for everybody in your house. If you're not getting the essential greens, vitamins, or uh, 
fruits and veggies that you need to be getting. So once again, you know, make sure that you follow us on YouTube. Make sure that you follow us on Facebook. This is the Real Health Podcast with Dr. Taylor. Stay tuned next week as we release the live recording of our supplement workshop uh, that we're having in our office where we're going over a lot of this information that we went over today and some of the stuff that we went over last time, but we'll be going over it in more detail. So stay tuned throughout the summer as we keep bringing you the most cutting edge information available today for real health. As always, this is your host, Dr. Taylor Crick. Talk to you guys next time. Thank you for listening to the Real Health Podcast with Dr. Taylor Crick. This episode has been sponsored by realhealthresource.com, your go-to resource for everything health, nutrition, and wellness. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, please visit our website at realhealthresource.com.